Hey guys, welcome back. We are here in Lothering still. We got Stan and Leliana as our followers. And now we need to do some questing. Do some of these uh, Chantry Board quests. Got some bandits to take care of. I also need to go find some venom for the uh, Tavern Keeper. It needs to find a few spiders for that. I think we have a few around the corner up here. But uh, first we need to deal with these bandits. Now, I need to set Leliana up here with a bow, I think, is the best thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and give her mine for now. And go ahead and set her to ranged and tactics. And that will keep her pretty much out of the fray because she has no armor right now. I don't have anything to give her. And it, honestly, she's going to be ranged probably throughout the rest of the game anyway, for the most part. She doesn't have uh, really anything invested in her melee skill tree already, so that's a good thing, because that, that would just be wasted points. I don't have any way to respec her or get those skills back to uh, put back into the archery tree, so that, that's a good thing. She already has archery abilities, although she comes default with a dagger playing, I guess you could say, uh, you know, a melee class, um, it's preferable that she be ranged. It goes well with her uh, Song of Courage and her Bard abilities and stuff, and then uh, you can just uh, give her enough uh, cunning maybe to do some stealing if you choose, but the rest I think can go into Dexterity and maybe a little bit into her, uh, her health. Kind of see as we go along. She'll need uh, some points in strength just simply so she can wear uh, a decent set of gear. Done. Done. There's a point later where we'll be able to make uh, Drake Scale armor. Which is uh, pretty much the best standard armor in the game. Then you have one uh, special set called the Felon's Coat, which is, uh, in my opinion, the best piece of armor in the game for a rogue. Especially one where you don't want to invest any points into strength or anything. If you're just investing primarily in dexterity or cunning, then you only need 20 strength to equip it, and it's uh, it has some really nice uh, buffs. That'll all come much later. For now, just kind of going with whatever I have. Would like to get um, Alistair some heavier armor, not just for the protection value, but that he can draw a little bit more threat or aggro. He's not quite annoying enough. Enemies tend to uh, disengage from him and go after my mage still, and I'm, I'm really not liking that. I want all attention to be Alistair, and then the mage's job can be to keep him healthy and do a little damage here and there. And that kind of leaves the rogues free, or the extra mage and the other rogue free to just run around and uh, be a nuisance. All right, good thing about this wide open space here is I can draw these bandits out a few at a time. Sometimes the archers will start shooting at you uh, before you even see them. That that can happen, but uh, for the most part, be able to draw them out two, three, four, five at a time instead of a dozen. When you get when you get mobbed, that's when it, it gets really bad, especially on nightmare because you know they're doing extra damage. And so if you have one player, regardless of his defense or anything else. Um, just getting molested by, I don't know, six or seven, eight, ten enemies or something. It's it's over really fast. If you can kind of keep it manageable, it's preferable. So grab a ranged character here and try to, what I would say, kite these guys back a little bit. Pull them away from the, the fray. Get them on their own. I got in a little extra damage on the Mabari ahead of time, but I think, honestly, the archers are doing some work up there, too, because I see lots of red numbers popping off of my characters. Yeah, you see the archers? Yeah, there they are. I knew they were in here somewhere. Okay, good thing is we're not just uh, running through our potions. Speaking of that, I better, better use a potion right now or else my, my main character is going to get knocked out. I don't know what's worse than the Baris with all their extra health or the stupid archers who do all their damage from 100 yards away. 
No, 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 no. Don't run now. Weren't running a second ago. That's where cunning comes in. Cunning, um, once you get the bonus with the assassin tree to do extra damage based on your cunning with backstabs, pretty effective. But your hit rate's going to be pretty low on Nightmare unless you buff it with a lot of, lot of different stuff. Speaking of that, with Leliana and her Song of Courage, that, uh, that increases your... I believe initially it increases your attack, and then later it increases your defense also for all party members within range or something. Something like that. All right, who ordered death? <laughs> all right, who ordered death? <laughs> Coming right up. About to say, we I thought we kited him out here. There we go. All right, now see two at a time, no problem. All right, doing just enough damage to get by. Okay, now you don't have all your girlfriends with you. Now you're by yourself. So with you, buddy. Ouch. Might be over for me if you hit me with too many more of those. Notice the stun only lasted like a second with this dude. The higher level you go, when you get up into the orange name enemies, orange and red name enemies, um, yeah, it's they're immune to most of that stuff. If they're not immune, your chances of triggering an effect on them is so slim it's ridiculous. And then when you do it, only lasts half a second anyway. It's kind of pointless. Okay. You have more friends than I thought back here. Now see... Okay, there Alistair, who's supposed to be tanking back here, goes running off. Which is fine, I guess, keeping the archer busy over there. But he didn't finish him off. He disengages and comes over here. Well, that... Yeah, that's not helping anyway. He's not drawing any heat. Okay, I'll fix that. Somewhere on down the line, we'll get our tactics to where they're uh, functioning well. I think one of these guys will drop a set of armor, though. Something I can give Alistair. That'll be nice. Sell that. Finished. Sell that. All right. Now, if I had Dog with me, he could uh, essentially piss on the tree and then uh, mark this as his territory, and we would all get a buff. I think it's like, a, I don't remember if it's extra damage or extra attack or extra defense or, or what. I, I don't remember exactly what it is, but yeah, he, he marks his territory, and it's like good for the whole party. <laughs> it's pretty funny. There's several of those around. All right, now these, these spiders will definitely mob you. If you kite them all out at once. So I'm going to try to draw them out one at a time. If possible. No, hopefully too many of his friends won't join. Okay. Two or three is good. Six or seven, no good. See, Alistair wasn't able to keep the threat. He wasn't able to keep aggro. He had it for a minute, but he wasn't able to keep it. A little bit heavier armor and get where get him to where he's uh, emitting threat all the time is gonna be gonna be great. Make things a little easier. It's great when everyone's focused on one guy and you can keep him on his feet. Then you can get in there from behind and backstab and 
AoE attacks and all kinds of good stuff like that. Alright, so we got some venom there for the Tavern Keeper. It's just a matter of making a, a few things of poison. I think I need a, new fl a few flasks, I'm not sure. But uh, we can double check over here, make sure we don't have any uh, corpses glittering. Alright, over there is some stuff I don't think I want to trigger yet. We'll get over here, over there eventually. I think there's two more little quests here that we can do. One involves, I think, a bear. I think a bear. And the other one is some wolves. And I could swear I just saw something sparkling here. I know we killed some bandits over here. Or maybe not. Alright then. Let's go turn this in and see what the, uh, the Chanter of Light, or whatever that dude is called, and see if he's got any money for me. That's what this is all about, getting as many gold as I can before I leave here, and then it's a matter of getting to the camp and trying to get to where I can get enough money before I go to my camp the first time to buy at least that necklace from Blessed Bodan. Are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Three. That's nice. I don't think the rest of them are worth that much, but uh, there we go. Yeah, when bears in a last keepsake, and I think that involves wolves. But uh, that's what we'll do on the next one. And uh, see how much we can get for that. Go sell everything we can, and then uh, go on our way. Not much left to do here. We've got our two followers. That's the main thing. A lot of these side quests out of the way. Hope you guys are having fun with this. Running around, doing the Dragon Age thing. It's awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to catch up on the rest of the Let's Play up to this point, hit that top box for a complete playlist of all my different playlists. Hit the bottom box, and if you want to subscribe and support the Ninja Flips, hit that button there over my head. Remember to comment, like, and share, and all that good stuff. All right, y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.